Welcome to Developing a Research Question, a City Tech Library tutorial. A lot of people struggle with this initial part of an assignment because even if they have a vague idea of something they want to learn more about, like gentrification, that's not focused enough to get you on the road to a successful project. A research question needs to do a few things. It needs to identify a specific problem or issue that will keep you on track. It needs to define the scope of your project and what aspects of a larger issue you plan to take on. You also want to include some facets or subtopics in your question that you would plan to address in your project. These will be helpful both when you're researching and can also serve as subsections that will help you organize your paper. Step one, decide on a topic. Choose something that you're interested in. And remember, a topic isn't a question. It's usually still too broad. Writing down everything you know about a topic will help you begin to think through some of the more specific facets that you might include in your question, though. Step two, consider scope. Think about how long your paper is and what you can reasonably address. If you're writing a seven page paper, you can't tackle a huge issue like gentrification or climate change. It's just too big. Step three, conduct background research. You might not even use this research in your project, but learning some general info about your topic and some key terms will help you narrow down and save you time in the end. Step four, identify subtopics, causes, effects, and even people or organizations that are impacted by your topic or issue. I like to write these down to visualize the language I might incorporate into my question. And usually you will have learned about these subtopics from the preliminary background research that you did in step three. Step five, now that you have more context, you can narrow the scope of what you want to research. Thinking about how your broader topic intersects with a specific place, time, or community is a good way to narrow down. You can also start to think about the kinds of research that you want to include and where you might find those sources. Okay, ready for step six? Write down your central question. You'll still need to revise and refine. A hallmark of a good research project is that it takes some time to get the central question right. Step seven, look at your question objectively and make sure that you can realistically answer this question with the kind of research that you have access to in the amount of time that you plan to spend on it. Some really interesting questions are hard to answer and take a really long time to figure out. For example, while you could find out whether gentrification causes displacement using statistical research, you might have a harder time finding out how low-income communities feel about changes to their neighborhood. Many questions also include assumptions about topics that might be off-putting to a reader. Your question should be value neutral, even if your research ends up making a compelling argument. Step eight, after checking in your question and your bias, refine your question one more time. Now you're ready to start researching. Check out our other tutorials for search strategies and pointers on how to find academic articles and evaluate the sources that you find online. If you still need more help, ask us.